Hey guys, what's happening? It's Munz. So I want to continue chatting about a video I shot the other day. The one where I was playing guitar, I was playing Oh Danny Boy, and uh, like I said, my original intention of that video was just to play the guitar, but as I was playing, I had a little mini revelation. And at the end of that video, I got some comments from some people. And one of the comments I got said, Hey Joe, don't let, you know, don't let your quote unquote mistakes get in the way of what you want to do and what you want to be. I'm paraphrasing, I don't remember the exact words, but basically she was saying that the mistakes, quote unquote, that I heard were basically unnoticeable to the untrained ear or eye. And I went back to look at it. And I went back to look at the outtakes. And I was like, Man, she's right. By the way, thanks Kathy Eats, I appreciate that comment. Um, but I went back to look at it and said, my God, she's right. I really don't hear it. I really don't see it. But I know as I was playing that, clear as day in my mind, I saw and heard those mistakes. And it really comes down to a little phrase that Joe Schroeder said on one of his CDs that I was listening to, which prompted me to make this video, was that people don't see with their eyes, they see with their minds. And everything is filtered through past experiences. Everything is based on past experiences. And I know you know this is true. Because think of any prospects in your business. Say, you know, any prospect, let's just deal with friends or family, and you have a product or a service, whether it be the compensation plan or the products themselves, that could really just help somebody. And yeah, you present it to them, maybe once, twice, a couple times, and they just don't see it. You know, their response is, oh, my uncle tried it, they don't work. I've tried this before, I tried this four years ago, it didn't work. I tried that before, no good. They're filtering everything through past experiences. And it's just human nature, it's kind of what we all do. And I just proved that, you know, with my guitar playing. Now, I've dealt with that issue and done a pretty good job with it in other parts of my life, but I guess not in my guitar playing. But you don't want to do that. What you need to do is you need to trick yourself. I says it is human nature to see with our minds. I mean, you've heard the saying, you know, in your mind's eye, in my mind's eye, right? Because we see with our brain. But what you need to do is trick yourself. You need to constantly be thinking about the good memories. So instead of me thinking about the times I screwed up, which is basically what was happening, I was seeing those mistakes before they ever, ever even happened. I was anticipating them, and I stopped playing. So before you start doing something, or before you do something, you need to change how you're thinking. So in your mind is basically only the good thoughts, only the good experiences. So when your mind doesn't go back to it, it, it doesn't screw you up. It just keeps you concurrent with what you want to have happen anyway. So what you really want to do is try to trick yourself because it takes a while before you can just quote unquote be like they talked about the first part of the video with the guitar playing, right? So you're not thinking and getting in your own way, but you can just be yourself and do what you're doing. Uh, it takes a while to get there, so in the meantime, go trick yourself. Be sneaky. Alright, that's it guys. That's my little tidbit today, and uh, just pulled into the golf course here, so we will chat soon. Have a great one. Bye-bye.